Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me here on this channel. And we're going to hop right into what the message is at this time. Let's see what comes out in this I Be Knowing Oracle deck. Let's see what the messages are, collective messages, Holy Spirit. I've already shuffled this other deck. I'll shuffle it one more time on camera. Holy Spirit, we are thankful for all of the insight and guidance that we have received thus far, Holy Spirit. But what is the messages? What are the messages at this time for the collective? Those people listening to the sound of my voice, Holy Spirit, can we start out with some oracle messages? Give us some insight into what we are discussing at this time, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. What is it that you would like for us to know? Holy Spirit. 5150. Pisces. Hold tight. Don't ever give up the fight. So someone tried to say that a Pisces was crazy, that they needed some sort of psych eval or psych hold. But I feel like possibly their family with this family card here. But what's happening is, is that this Pisces is showing from being their true authentic self that there's nothing wrong with them. That actually they're very strong in mind, body, and spirit with this whole tight, don't ever give up the fight. And their family is looking stupid right now possibly an Aries, priorities, whoever. This Aries energy could be an Aries in this family, okay, who participated in putting out this energy about this Pisces being crazy. Priorities, lucid dreaming, time travel, astral, astral projection, Clarify this, Holy Spirit. I just saw they evil. Facade, don't be fooled. So somebody, thank you, Holy Spirit. I just heard that whoever this Aries is, they are someone outside of this family who they have been using to affect this Pisces mental state. This Aries is some sort of practitioner. This Aries has been trying to affect this Pisces mental state. That's why this facade, don't be fooled, is out here. They're using some sort of lucid dreaming astral projection technique to try to alter this Pisces mental state while they sleep. Okay, I feel like this family is very determined to try to say and show that this Pisces is crazy because there's something, there's a Leo involved here as well, okay? There's something that this Pisces has that these people want. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's why this priorities is out here. Somebody mad, your twin flame has fallen from grace. So this family was planning to use this fallen twin flame to somehow connect with this Pisces and help prove that this person needed to be institutionalized. These people have done all kind of shit to get this Pisces caught up, okay? That's why. That's also why this whole tight don't ever give up the fight is out here. Because this family is hell-bent. This is one of their top priorities, which is making sure that they can get rid of this damn Pisces. The way that they've always tried to get rid of this Pisces is by saying this person has some mental health issues. But time is showing that this Pisces is actually got their priorities in order. They got their shit together, okay? 
So whoever this twin flame is possibly was a Leo. They have fallen from grace because they were not able to fuck this Pisces up. Okay. So now this family is using some sort of spiritual practitioner, whoever this Aries is, to try to affect this Pisces mindset. Cryptic as all hell. This family is crazy. This family need a 5150 if you damn ask me at this point. Anybody that has been dealing with this family over the years and has observed their, their weird, sordid obsession with trying to take this Pisces family member down by trying to prove that this Pisces is crazy, that should show these other folks that that family might be off their rocker, okay? Because why y'all going so hard to prove that this person is crazy? Why is this a priority for y'all? The reason why it's a, it's a priority is because there's something Again, that this Pisces, either their name is on something or they're the only person that can access something. And so if these people can have some sort of control over this Pisces life, they can also control what this is that she owns. Okay, because she owns some, it's something like that here. That's why they mad. I'm not even going to take that. Basically, it said that who... It said smelly and soulmate. So whoever this Pisces thought was her soulmate, this Leo, this Pisces could have married a Leo. This Leo was supposed to testify, I'm here and prove that this Pisces was crazy, but something fell off with this Leo. So they couldn't use her partner anymore, her former partner. I'm telling you, I'm picking up that this Pisces was married to this Leo and that they, the family tried to use this person's husband, wife, whoever this Leo is to them and prove that this person was crazy while they was married to them, but it didn't work out like they thought. So now they're doing some sort of spiritual, I'm telling you this Pisces got some sort of cattle or wealth that this family wants access to. And they cannot get access to it unless they prove that this Pisces is crazy. That's just period. But it's not working out. And they've been going at this for a long fucking time. And whoever they trying to fool into believing that this Pisces is crazy. No, nah, this Pisces possibly was sexually abused though. Okay. That's what it's given. That's what it's given now. And this Pisces may have experienced some emotional issues as a result of being sexually abused by possibly somebody in this family. They don't want that to get out, though. I'm telling you, they're trying to lock this Pisces up because these people are trying to get her wealth and they're trying to keep things a secret, things that have happened in the past. So any type of emotional or mental health instability this Pisces may have ever shown was because she was sexually abused and did not receive the help for her trauma and pain that she should have received. So that don't mean that you crazy and you need to be locked up. Okay, so that's also being proven somehow. That's why this facade don't be fooled is, is out here as well. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Well, I'm telling you, these people doing spell work now, trying to affect this woman's mental health state. One second. Okay, I had to pause and get me some water because I was picking up on um, the level of fuckery. It's insane. <laughs> okay. The level of fuckery is insane. So what do we need to know about this Aries energy? who this family is using to spiritually affect this Pisces so they can go crazy. What we need to know about this Aries Holy Spirit. Let me calm down. 
sick. Ew. That's what we need to know about this motherfucker. It's really given that whoever this Aries is that they hired to try to play in this Pisces energy and cause some sort of mental instability for them, this person is going to get sick for, for playing around in this Pisces energy. Okay? Anything else here, Holy Spirit? Karmic Terror Reader. Clarify this karmic tarot reader, Holy Spirit. Divine connection and divine purpose. Okay, so this Pisces could be a tarot reader who has a divine connection and a divine purpose, but people want to believe that she's karmic somehow. Okay. And this is this may be what this family was trying to use to prove that she had some mental health issues as well because she reading tarot. Because I know I'm not the only Pisces that read tarot online, but you already know people be trying to say whatever about tarot readers. So this family may have tried to use the fact that this Pisces is a tarot reader as a way to prove that she has some sort of mental health issues. But what has been shown as well, that's why I said these people have been at it for a long time trying to shut this Pisces down to no avail, okay? Because what's been shown, somebody said this Pisces was a karmic tarot reader, but what's been shown is that this Pisces actually has a divine connection and divine purpose, okay? So that's, that's been thwarted, damn it, okay? All these attempts to take this woman down and it's all because of her cattle and her wealth. And none of them damn offers ain't being accepted either. So Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this please and thank you? <clears throat> That's crazy because my first husband is a Leo. That's crazy. Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this? I just thought about that. What is the message here, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit, via tarot. What would you like for us to know about this, Holy Spirit? Mm. What this family trying to do or what this family think they finna do because whoever they didn't hire to do spell work on this Pisces, that person's sick. Who, this former husband or wife that they tried to get to testify and say this Pisces is crazy. Something happened with them, so they're not even a viable witness. And in actuality, the only reason why this Pisces may have ever exhibited any emotional instability is because of the sexual abuse that this Pisces experienced at the hands of this family. So what else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? What's going to happen here? Please and thank you. The Hierophant. What's happening is that this group effort to try to shut this Pisces down has been red flagged, okay? It's too many people trying to come for this one person. So you already know the powers that be are going to look into the reason why. Why is everybody in this group thing energy against this one person? What is it? that they got going on, what is happening with them that would make all of these people want to huddle up against them. So they've actually made people start digging deeper into as to why they want to do this and it's not working out in their favor, okay? It's not. Three of Pentacles. They didn't did too much against this Empress, Queen of Wands here. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Nah, doing too much. They hell bent on trying to destroy this person. That all they're doing is exalting her. Creating positive pivotal changes for her because all of this attempt to deem that she insane so they can get her money, that shit finna stop. 
That shit finna stop. And this who finna stop it. Because let me tell you something. This Aries, whoever this is, that they didn't hire to do this spell work on this person. Five of Swords to the Seven of Swords. They woke up somebody when they did that. Something got activated here when they did that. This is, this is that Leo. Let me slow down. This is that Leo. This is who this Pisces was at one point married to in a partnership with, thought that this was their divine counterpart. But this person was also plotting and scheming against them, but they've been defeated. Whatever this family was trying to do with this, this Leo here, that shit has fallen apart, okay? So this is the Leo here with this five of swords, seven of swords. This is, this is that Aries energy. But I'm picking up something like this emperor energy here. Okay, y'all just... Thank you, Holy Spirit. Y'all bear with me. This Queen of Wands is this Aries. This Empress is this Pisces. This Leo is this King of Wands. This Queen of Wands was try is currently trying to make some sort of pivotal change occur in this Empress's life. But it's backfiring on her. And we're going to clarify this Queen of Swords, Ace, Queen of Wands. That's who she really is. Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords in a minute. This emperor is somebody else. This emperor is who has been awakened because of everything that they're trying to do against this woman. Clarify this emperor energy, Holy Spirit. Magician. This emperor is about to take some heavy action to ensure that this decision to come for this Pisces and her wealth stops indefinitely. It's about to be some sort of final reckoning that this emperor is going to execute here. So what then happened is this family tried to bring this damn Leo. I'm telling y'all, I think I already said this. They tried to bring this ex-husband into court in front of this emperor, in front of this judge, and try to say that this woman was crazy when he was married to her, but that shit fell apart in court. He has fallen from grace for even going into court to do this against his, at one point, divine partner, divine counterpart. These people were married. And he's fallen from grace as a result of going into court and trying to lie on you and say that you had mental health issues. Now, this Queen of Wands is this Aries. This is somebody that your family hired, okay, who is well-versed in various lines of study when it comes to that spell work. And this person has been actually projecting to this Pisces to try to mess with their mental health ability. Four of Swords right behind the Page of Pentacles. I know what the fuck I'm picking up on. It might take me a minute to get it out because I'm hearing a lot at one time. But I know what I'm picking up on. Okay? So we done broke this Leo down. We breaking this Aries face head ass down now. That's why this person is in the Four of Swords because see, they astral projecting and shit. That shit can make you sick. You damn, you really can fuck your shit up. Have a bad case of vertigo by the time your ass get back from where you going. And wherever you went, if you were not welcome there, it ain't no telling what may have went down or happened to you while you was out over where you was not supposed to be. And when you come back from there, you can bring some of those illnesses, some of those repercussions back with you, 10-10. So that's what's been happening with this Aries Queen of Wands. Her ass and got sick as a result of trying to go over there and fuck with this Pisces in her dream state. Okay? So, as you can see, this family's attempts thus far 
to shut this Pisces down is not working out in their favor. Because the four of swords is somebody who is having to heal and recover. They could even be hospitalized. Okay? And I'm telling you, that's this Aries Queen of Wands energy. This person is having to recover from trying to project to this Pisces and mess with her mind. And I feel like this Aries is abandoning whatever practices that she was trying to do against this Empress for good. This Empress is this Pisces. And I'm telling you, all this shit this family has been doing against this woman has triggered something major where this is going to stop for good. Because this emperor can see that these people are, you know, grasping for straws, trying to come up with any and everything to destroy this Pisces, and he's not going to be a part of it. And he's not going to allow them to continue this plight against her. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Queen of Cups. There you go, your Pisces. With the two of swords. He not, he not finna let this shit go on no more. Sagittarius with the ten of wands. Temperance energy. He not finna let this shit keep going on against this woman. Because it's obvious that they're just trying to do something roguish and deceitful to win her wealth. So what is this wealth that this Pisces have that these people is going crazy about, Holy Spirit? Because they crazy. They trying so hard to prove she crazy. They showing everybody that they off, they rocker for real. The, the lengths that they went to to try to trip her up is proving how insane they ass is. What is this? Oh, I didn't even see the Eight of Pentacles was behind the Ten of Wands. The, the, the courts see that these people are working overtime extensively to put this woman in an institution to prove something because it is something to do with her abundance. Clarify. And I, Five of Cups, I don't even think this woman knows why everybody keep coming for her. Five of Cups is falling right up under the Empress. She don't realize why these people are hell-bent on trying to put her in a box, restrict her. She don't know about this wealth. She upset because she's trying to figure out why her family don't fuck with her like that or why they hate her so much. Not a pinnacles, but this is part of a plan. This is your priorities energy. It's been a plan and the priority of this family for a long ass time to set this Pisces up for failure so that they can have control over her wealth. They plan to use this Aries to do it. They tried to use this Leo to do it. They didn't did a whole bunch of other shit too, but I feel like these are the most recent efforts of this family. And them trying to bring in this woman's ex-husband Cause I'm definitely picking that up and it's, it's a coinky dink for sure that my ex-husband is a Leo, one of them, but I'm telling you, they tried to pull this woman ex-husband in the court to say she was crazy and that shit blew up in their face. If anything, I'm telling you, it made them look pressed, stressed. Why are y'all going so hard against this woman? What's really up? And that, that sparked this positive change that's about to occur, occur in her life. That's what ended this karmic cycle. They shouldn't have even brought that damn Leo. Like, why the hell is y'all even trying to pull somebody, old ex-husband in the court? Somebody they hadn't even been around in years, I'm hearing. Had interacted with, talked to, nothing. How y'all gonna try to pull in that motherfucker to say something about somebody? Like the emperor, the judge is slow. That's what they tried to do. They tried to play this judge, and he know it. Knight of Cups with this slick offer, trying to make it seem as if this Leo had some sort of love connection still with this Empress Queen of Cups. 
This man definitely talked about something that occurred when he was married and sharing a home with this with this empress. Four of wands to the five of wands. Definitely told his judge that this woman, it was some sort of chaos and conflict, some sort of issues he experienced with her when he was married to her in their home. They definitely was trying to get this woman. But I'm telling you, all it did was show this emperor that they ass ain't right. And this is going to stop indefinitely this is this is gonna be over with <laughs> okay i'm telling you i'm picking it up because they went too far nine of swords with the king of pentacles this could be this queen of cups empress's father here this is somebody who wanted to be rich who wanted some sort of abundance off of this woman's pain. I'm even scratch, pause that. I just heard that this damn King of Wands, they promised this King of Wands Leo energy some sort of abundance, some sort of new start if he was able to prove or convince the courts that when he was married to this Pisces, she was crazy. His wishes was going to come true somehow. But that shit been blocked. Seven of Wands. I'm telling you, everything that they try to do against this woman, it's being refuted. It's being blocked. It's being boomeranged back to them. This is wild here, y'all. This is why you got to stay prayed up. And this is why you just really sometimes it's okay to rock by your lonely because... You know, look, rocking with motherfuckers sometimes can get you fucked up. But I also feel like this Nine of Pentacles to the Three of Cups is speaking about how this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Empress here, she's going to be able to celebrate with people who love her in the future. This woman, I feel like, has felt despair, grief, loneliness. She's definitely faced some emotional difficulties but what i'm seeing it seeing is it was because of her family and their actions against her that have caused her to feel this way and this is why she is going to be blessed with a new soul tribe a new soul family people who gonna fuck with her the long way who are going to celebrate her, who are going to honor her. And she is going to receive this wealth as well. That's why she came out here as this Nine of Pentacles. Whatever these people have been trying to keep away from her, stop her from getting, she's about to get it. She's about to receive good news about this hidden wealth, Ten of Cups, that these people have been trying to keep her away from. It's going to be a major tower when this woman get receives communication about this Ace of Pentacles that was hidden from her. I'm telling you, she ain't never understood why her family was coming for her, why her family didn't fuck with her, why her family always act like she was the problem. Damn, y'all look, right behind the Eight of Wands was the Queen of Pentacles. Didn't see it, another card hiding. In regards, in regards to money, they were trying to hide this money from her moon was right behind the queen of pentacles but the court is about to give her this money she's about to have a victory in court and she didn't even know she needed to be in court that's what i'm damn hearing these people ain't notify page of swords these people ain't notify this woman that she needed to be in court that's how they were also trying to prove that she was crazy by saying she don't even, she ain't even got her mind right enough to come into court like she's supposed to. We told her, but she ain't show up. I don't know what's wrong with her. We That's why we trying to get us some help now. These old motherfuckers, I hear they ass. They, that judge just looking at these people like, now y'all know. Mm-hmm. The lover's death with the six of cups, with the four of pentacles, with the seven of cups, with the ten of pentacles. They about to take a major loss. 
and they're not going to be able to come back to nobody courthouse and file no paperwork or try to get before no judge to get nothing done against this Pisces ever again. Okay, that's over with. That, this last attempt, I'm telling you, strength. Like I said, this last attempt, and then we got the King of Swords that then fell out here by using her damn ex-husband to try to say this woman was crazy. This Leo. That's what that's where they fucked up. And then I'm really seeing this Leo sitting in court looking crazy him damn self. Looking like something ain't right with him. Clothes ain't right. Looking crazy, but trying to call this other woman crazy. See, that's what really did it, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Because this emperor can look at who they tried to bring in to say this woman wasn't right. And he could see that man wasn't right. How they, how y'all going to bring in a crazy to try to say somebody else crazy? Or bring in somebody that ain't right? Like, I'm really picking that up. This emperor saw this strength king of swords, this ex-husband, this Leo. And he knew then that these people were just... Pull, grasping for straws to try to do any and everything they could to get some sort of win over this Pisces. And they were looking foolish, looking crazy. These people had already told this, this judge too that this Pisces was online. That's why, that's also why. That's why she coming out as the lovers now. Because this emperor went this judge went and looked at this pisces online if you are a pisces tarot card reader and you've been dealing with some shit like this regarding an inheritance or somebody trying to say you crazy trying to get some type of authority over your life it's because you have been left some sort of wealth some sort of inheritance that your family is trying to gain control over your own family then went to the court and said that you online Reading tarot, acting crazy, in an attempt to prove that you needed a 5150. And this judge then went and looked at you, and all he saw was a chosen one. And Empress, hell, you coming out on his level. He saw someone who has a divine connection and a divine purpose. Someone who has their priorities in order. They got their shit together. You ain't fucking out here insane, crazy, need to be locked up. Where somebody feeding your ass and giving you your medicine three times a day. If you, it ain't no way, I can't even say it because it ain't, it don't even make sense. If you got your shit together, your ass ain't in need of no 5150. I don't give a fuck. And this emperor got more sense than that. This facade they were trying to create around this woman's life and her name. And then it looked like this thing came out that this woman was sexually abused under the care of this family. So see, now they got that hanging over their heads while they trying to hang all this shit over hers. Clarify, Holy Spirit, and we gonna close. Because this thing came out, Knight of Wands, sexual activity, bold, erratic behavior. Someone doing something without thinking about the consequences that they'll face and the trauma that they may be putting on another person as a result. So something came out about this Pisces being sexually abused in court. And it's almost as if they really shot themselves in the foot. Because you trying to prove something wrong with this person that you did not protect as a child from some sort of trauma and pain they experience. And it's on record. It's on record now. So they can't lie and say that this Pisces was sexually abused. Something has been, I don't know if this Pisces had received any type of therapy or treatment for this sexual abuse, but there's something on record. There's something on record that proves that this Pisces was sexually abused. Okay? And if this family tried to use that as a reason to get her locked up, it has only made them look even worse. I'm telling you, this over with. This little plan to keep fucking with this Pisces and have her committed or whatever fuck these people tried to do, 
This where they ass at. This family, this that family. They've been locked out of whatever money, whatever sanctuary, whatever abundance and prosperity this woman was about to receive or was slated to receive because she finna get it. They tried to keep it hidden from her, but she's about to get it. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? That's a damn shame. Anything else though? Hangman. And I'm dropping the mic on this Pisces hangman because these people have sacrificed themselves in an attempt to try to sacrifice this Pisces. Their attempt to try to have her in some sort of restricted state to try to prove that her that she was upside down in her thinking and in her mindset and her behavior has truly gotten them locked out of heaven, out of any blessings. These people finna be struggling. I feel like they were already on the brink of struggle. That's why they've been going so hard to try to get access to this money. And I'm telling you, it's really backfired on them in a very bad way. But I digress. I hope this message helped someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.